number one. Smile! Why so serious? The Joker was a scary character. The adage about teachers never smiling for the first three months of the school year does not ward off students taking advantage of kindness. Smiling sets the proper tone for polite and kind classroom. Smiling disarms students who may be guarded in new situations. And genuine behavior influencing rapport can only happen when students are drawn to you. Number two, know your content area. In this scene, Professor John Smith teaches about the Battle of Waterloo. In June 18, 1815, the French military leader and emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte, concluded with defeat at the Battle of Waterloo in present-day Belgium. There's a picture of the battle. The battle was waged three miles south in Brenleau and Plancenois along the Mont Saint Jean range. That is not Waterloo. Napoleon returned to Paris, where he was forced to abdicate on June twenty second, eighteen fifteen. He intended to sail to the United States to avoid Britain. Napoleon waited until midday to launch his attack due to heavy rain. Here's an unsavory bit of information. Some scholars believe that Napoleon suffered painful hemorrhoids that prevented him from riding his horse to survey the battlefield prior to the fight. And another unsavory bit of information Scavengers harvested Waterloo teeth from dead soldiers to make dentures. Pretty gross. Be a mentor. This means have the resources to provide to students and motivate students to do their best, not simply better than the rest. You told me to come and collect that book, sir. Good lad, yes. Yes! The definitive account of map looking by Edgerton Price. And I wanted a little word. Your marks aren't quite good enough. I'm top ten for my class, sir. Well, to be honest, Timothy, you should be the very top. You're a clever boy, you seem to be hiding it. And I know why. Keeping your head low avoids the mockery of your classmates. But no man should hide himself, do you think? Yes, sir. Clever. Be proud of it. Use it. Remember, use that brain of yours. Rule number five, provide a safe environment. In the following scene, John Smith is given the opportunity to save his student, Timothy, from punishment for poor performance, but he does not. Hutchinson, excellent work. He's fired. Good day to it, Master. Your crew's on fine form today, Mr. Smith. Excuse me, Headmaster, we could do a lot better. Latimer's being deliberately shoddy. 
I'm trying my best. You'd be better than the best. Those targets are tribesmen from the Dark Continent. That's exactly the problem, sir. They really have spears. Oh, dear me. Latimer takes it upon himself to make us realize how wrong we all are. I hope, Latimer, that one day you may have a just and proper war in which to prove yourself. Now, resume firing. Rule number six. Give students real-world practice. This rule should not be at the expense of rule number five, safety. In developing concepts such as writing or math, students benefit from real-world examples. Here are two. Let's start with writing, full sentence adjectives. The teacher says, pretend you're a witness to a crime of who stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Give the police a description of the person or cookies or setting. Here's an example. John Winchester is a tall, stout man with brown hair and rough beard. The adjectives are highlighted here. Now, let's try a math example. Adding with decimals. The teacher says, you want to buy some cookies to replace the stolen cookies. Oreos cost $3.62. Keebler cookies cost $2.50. If I buy both cookies, how much did I spend before tax? And here I've shown two different ways of determining that before tax, these two cookies are equal to $6.12. Om nom 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 nom. Stop it. Immediate action. Didn't I tell you, sir, the stupid boy is useless. Permission to give Latimer a beating, sir. Not class, Mr. Smith. Permission granted. Right. Come with me, you little boy. Rule number seven, prepare them for the real world. Some of the material we need to teach nowadays is unsavory, but necessary. Here's some of the material. The Holocaust, it's unsavory because it's religion, torture, and murder, but it teaches different cultures, equality, and humanity. The material of slavery is unsavory because it's strange economics people being property, abuse, and murder. Again, for the same purposes of different cultures, equality, and humanity. A more common occurrence of the material, routine lockdowns. It teaches how to be safe. Lastly, material being internet safety. It's unsavory because it shows that people aren't safe there could be sexual things and there could be scams for people trying to get your money, your profile, your identity. And the purpose of teaching internet safety is to teach them how to be safe in researching, in using these socializing situations. Rule 8, there is no 8, but there is a number 5, so I repeat, provide a safe environment. All your little tin soldiers, but tell me sir, will they thank you? I don't understand. War is coming. Foreign fields, war of the whole wide world, with all your boys falling down in the mud. 
Do you think they will thank the man who taught them? It was glorious. Don't you forget why I've been a soldier. I was in South Africa. I used my dead mates for sandbags. I fought the butt of my rifle when the bullets ran out, and I would go back there tomorrow for king and country. Etc. Etc. No, that's not true. Never. Back through the school. Hutchinson, lead the way. Sir, I said lead the way. Well, go on. 